Welcome to a brand new series called The Pro Breakdown, where I'll be inviting over professional League of Legends players from the LEC to sit down with me and zoom in on some of the best players in the world at their respective role. We'll be looking at all of the micro and minute decisions that they make specifically during the early game in their lane phase or in their jungle pathing and what they do that makes them some of the best players in the world. The reason I wanted to do this series is I wanted more analytical content on the YouTube, but also I wanted to help you guys at home uh, understand why these players are so good and maybe you can implement some of the things that they do in your solo queue games. Not only that, but I also wanted to take the LEC players and really spend an hour or two with them where we can dive deep into some of the best players in the world and why they're so good to maybe help them uh, get better at the game or kind of reflect on some of the decisions they make to then apply it to their professional games as well. Episode one will be with SK Gaming's top laner Irrelevant, where we'll be looking at Doran, Keen, Zeus and Kingen's games in the LCK playoffs to hopefully break down the top lane a little bit better. Um, let me know in the comments below who you'd like to see in future episodes and for now, enjoy. Like I'm not too familiar with the matchup. Yeah. But I watched I think I watched some of it where they stand in bush level one and just try to trade HP. Mm. Uh, like the Rexa tries to trade HP. Because I think if you don't trade HP, uh TF will just push you in the entire game, hit your turrets and you can't really do much. So you like need to find ways to trade onto him? Yeah, and then I think what's most important is that your jungle helps you. Like I think if if this is full one v one matchup, you will just get like shit on the entire game and he will outscale you and take your turret. So Rex, I need jungle. Yeah. So that's why Sintel's patent top, I guess, right? Yeah. So what does TF do then? Does I, get, I guess he just stacks waves. Yeah, you always want to just like slow push to hit plate. Mm, so he like does W start and then to slow push, what does he do? Just make sure he hits the minions more than Rex, I hits them? Or how do you like judge it? I mean, it's like the best thing you can do when you slow push is that like none of you hits minions, right? But then every time Rexa hits minions, you just need to auto him, auto the wave. Yeah. So always keep the wave a big, uh, bigger for you. Yeah. But like the biggest wave you can stack is always if enemy can't hit. But then obviously, look here, he wastes gold cut. Do think Doran fucked up there? I think he just saw that he wasted the gold cut, so he's in. But yeah. then like one thing you can do with Rexa, which is like pretty safe to do, is once he's in, you just walk like f towards him. Yeah, you walk in, yeah. right? Because then he will just like come out randomly behind you. So he's like, he has no gold card, I'll trade on him, and then obviously yeah. he just gets Mickey Mouse by his movement. Yeah, and Zeus also knows that he wants to trade, and he predicts it well, I think. Yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah, I see. So as soon as Rex, I, it's like a meteor, you know? Like, it comes towards you, you just run in front of it, and then you just dodge it. So now he just wants to stack the wave, and... Yeah. Why, is there a reason, like, so my perspective would be, it's not better if Zeus uses the bushes here, and like, sits here and like, hits from here? Mm. Is that better, you think? Or is it better to just stand in the wave? I, mean, I think usually as a range drop it's better to use the bushes. Yeah. I would say here as well. Because also when you use the bushes you can like walk more forward, right? Like into his direction. Yeah, you can like And then you right. can like even try him to zone him from XP, all this. So I think it's probably better to play from the bushes. Mm. Yeah, maybe he just wants to stay in the wave or something. Just protect it, I don't know. Because I guess what Rex I could do, or like in some top matchups I saw it, where when one top uses the bushes, the other top goes like here, you know? Yeah, like they do that thing, but I guess is a melee champ. You think he can do that? I think he can't do it in this matchup. Yeah, like not in this state. It's a bit too hard. Yeah, I think it's pretty tough, especially if he's level two. I guess it's also riskier because you can get ganked pretty easy. I guess. Yeah, I guess he also doesn't know what uh, Zin is doing. Mm, yeah, they have no. I guess they see Zin on now. Yeah, not Zin. Really well. So third wave crash. Yeah, it's always best. I guess. I mean, it's third or fourth wave. Mm. I think it doesn't matter too much. Mm. And this is where like, is this where like top skill on range top comes in? How much can you chunk him on the tower? Yeah, it's like, actually I feel like not that many people know how to harass on the turret. Yeah. I mean, you probably know it, right? With the waiting for the turret shot. Yeah. So Zeus, the waves like, the wave like kind of bounce into him, I guess. It's bouncing, right? Because he crashed it. But he's like thinning it so he can stack again. So the TF never wants it to like, because some top laners, they like crash, from what I've seen, yeah. and then it bounces, and then they play against him on the bounce, right? And they let it stack into them. Yeah, but I mean, I guess here you can't. It like depends. Let's say you're playing versus Cassandra. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of champs on top lane where you want to like crash three or four versus Cassandra and then let it bounce. Yeah. And then you want to still harass them, but you don't want to break the bounce. And then we want to like force a recall at some point. Or like, because they're scared of jungle and shit. Yeah. And then they just have to recall on a wave that's bouncing into you. Yeah. 
Is it because he's got like you think it's because he's got good vision top and his jungler's top that he just wants to push? Yeah, probably he's saying here they can, they can dive as well, you know. Yeah, true. If, right. he, sl if he slow pushes this wave, yeah, they have an uh, easy dive now. And then on the next wave, he, they can probably dive. Like all he wants here is to hit the Rex on every CS and don't let them auto for free, so he can heal up with like his passive. Yeah, he actually wards the push as well, right? So he's just making sure Rex I can't. What does Doran do here? This is kind of awkward, I guess, right? Because what does Doran do? He just either lets the wave come into him. Or he just bases in TPs now, but I guess he wants gold for like, I don't know, bombings or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like the only two options you have is like wait or base TP, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, he has one ward to spot jungle if he needs it. But he's obviously calling here, I guess I can get dope, maybe I need help, it's, it's real top. But I guess Seus was maybe saying I can dive and this guy was just like, nah, I will just, I'll just base and go bot. But I guess it's fine if they, they don't have to dive, I guess, right? If the TF can just keep him on the tower. Yeah, I mean, you don't really have to make anything happen in the matchup. You're yeah. winning just by default. I think if they think it's like a risky dive where something could go wrong. Yeah. Probably don't need to do it. Maybe Botlane needed something as so. well. So, jungle doesn't come top. Doran probably knows he's not getting dove. And I guess his jo job here is just soak the wave, soak the next wave, and then base. And just hope his team carries. Yep, I mean that's kind of top lane. So what is like Zeus doing you think is, is different? Or like it, like the most important thing he's doing? Stacking waves and just punishing for every creep? Yeah, I think like especially in this matchup, that's kind of all you do. I don't think it's like that complicated. Yeah. Like I don't think there are many trade patterns you can do. H how could TF fuck it up? How could TF fuck it up? Probably like you saw uh, like earlier in the game, if he just uses his gold card and then gets hit by Rex AE. Mm. I think that's, that's the way to fuck it up. Yeah, and then Rek'Sai gets a good trade on him. And then also just like base timings probably in this matchup. The base because he has no TP, right? Yeah. But like in general, I think it's fine using your first ult for top lane as yet. I think it's mm. fine to do. Do you have a ghost lane? Uh, yeah, sometimes. I think it's actually OP. So I guess here he probably pushes in bases or... Uh, he has good pressure, no? It's kind of awkward because it's not a cannon wave the next wave, but Rek'Sai's TPing back. Uh. Um, I would probably greet for the plate here, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets cancelled. Well, like, goodbye Durant to cancel, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he missed the plate. Swiftness boots first. Good against Rek'Sai, I guess. Yeah, it's good just so he can never hit you with a Like, here I'm thinking, why doesn't Rek'Sai hard push this wave? Why doesn't Rek'Sai just fast push now? Yeah, because I feel like if he hard pushes, I don't know if he has demolish. Probably does. Actually, he has fleet. Does he have demolish? No, he went second. Oh, okay, that, then it makes sense. I guess it's sense. hard to go demolish in this matchup, because maybe yeah. things... But I guess what he could do is fast push and then base like a ruby crystal. No, like what I was thinking is he could fast push and just proc demolish. Yeah. And then he can m maybe force TF ghost or force TF ult or anything. But if he mm. sh slow pushes, he can just run. But also if he doesn't have demolish, TF can just run normally. He will not lose anything. Yeah, I guess he's just stacking wave now. Yeah, I, think I don't think he can ever stack waves, can he? Uh, I mean, it's probably hard, yeah. Yeah. Like if TF just red cuts the wave, he could just take over the push. I I yeah. I think now it's really important just for TF to clear all the tunnels. Mm. I think if you don't clear the tunnels with Rex, then you can actually be in trouble. Yeah, because then you actually can gap close you with one tunnel in the second. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Yeah, but I also feel like this matchup, what Zeus has done well is he just never gets knocked up. He got knocked up once. Yeah. Oh. But Okay, you got knocked up. Okay. <laughs> it's a curse. I can see, like, as soon as he gets knocked up, mega trade, Rex IWs, heals, pushes. Yeah. But also, you could see the moment Rex I used his E again, he tried to step forward, just so he doesn't get hit again. I mean, he fucked it up, but. Like, the moment Rex I eat forward, he, he tried to run forward he tried again. Tried to run forward again, yeah. Because yeah. he has um, Swiftness boots, right? So he can maybe run past him, and then, like, kite him with gold card. And yeah, he, I mean, he could probably run past him, gold card him, and then walk back. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So now I guess Rex is in a good spot now. Like tops pushed, crashed. He's getting like wards in enemy jungle. Yeah, I guess information's good. He's kind of stacking. He's mega. He's just mega trading. Looks much better than this, like getting stacked. <laughs> <in my guess. laughs> I think the boost tier two helps this. I mean, for sure they do. I mean, maybe he's fucked now. No, maybe he's not fucked. Oh, he's mega fine. He just humiliated them. But now I guess he has to let it stack. Yeah. Mm. So now I guess he just pushed into him. Because Rel's topside doesn't want to push. Maybe he just needs to be ready in case Sinzao gets collapsed on. 
Oh, he's really trying to trade, and I guess the Mercs helps him a bit. Yeah, it still feels like if Zeus plays it right, he can't get traded on, and now he's getting yeah. punished mega hard. But like now, how does he get out of this situation? That's what I'm wondering. Um, well, because his AD carry is kind of top for support. Yeah, because for, for me, like in this situation, you need something to happen to you. Like someone needs to help you. Zeus gonna base. Yeah, so in you, you're, you're just getting five man dope now, I guess. <laughs> no, it's like it's like not even about getting dope, right? But yeah. let's say Zin is not here and TF just stays. I feel like until you, your TP is back up, you will just lose and lose and lose. So what does Duran do? You think just fast push and base? I mean, this this already like he could even base here. He can fast push and base. So once he fast pushes and bases, and TF can't hold it. Maybe, maybe he stays even. Oh, he has to stay because there's a fight in. Mega, he could be stayed, I guess. He gets a kill. So he's getting to the lane a bit better. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's just on that slow push, you need like your team to help you. On the one that he just fast Yeah, pushed. like when he got chunked and he stood under turrets, like if he's alone there, I think on that wave alone, he will miss he will miss so much. Like he will he will lose platings, he will lose HP. Here. Yeah, it was this terrible play. trade. Griefs it. Now he just needs team all game, right? Or like yeah, because because in my mind now, like pure one v one, he will lose his entire turret. I think Rel should be called. Uh, Regardless of seeing Senna here, would you be calling your jungle? Probably, yeah. Because I feel like the the game state for this Rex is like so fucked. Here. Like if, if if Rel and Thresh run up here. Yeah, I can see it. Like just at least put yeah. some vision and like keep pressuring. Yeah. Because now he get he gets out like this is like a terrible situation he's in and he kinda gets out of it for free. Yeah, not only does he get out of it, but he also like fast pushes, which is even better. So he's even more in the game. And then he actually gets first blood, so he's actually even. Well like almost even. Yeah. On the wave that he's not even chunked, he's just coming out of base. He's getting go. Does he die here? No, he has TP. He's fine actually. But uh, like I don't understand the point of this. Mm. Well, the like the form and dive. Yeah, because they're losing a wave mid as well. Like I feel like in my opinion the top lane matchup is just you need vision STF and you will push just push him in one v one. And yeah, and you leave it. And you yeah. will as TF will slowly get more ahead, more ahead, more ahead. Yeah, TF gets a uh, full push one v one with static as well. I think you always get side push as well. Mm. But I do feel like that window where his bot lane where Senna and Zin hovered him. Yeah. I feel like that was like actually game deciding. What do you mean? Like they could have gone for the dive play? No, it's like they like when Rexai got the free recall. Yeah. I feel like him getting the recall there is like really illegal. Yeah, it's like really game winning for the like it's not game winning, but it's really, really good for the matchup. Yeah. Like even if they were to like have Rel and Thresh around here and like yeah, if they just like out. sit in tribush, yeah, um, like even Rel can just go there because I don't think they can kill the Rel. Zoning him off the tower, or like threatening something. I mean, kind of you dive. can you can even threaten dive, take right? His crux or something yeah, with Rel. you can take the crux. I think they have to like lane two e two under turret, and you will still just harass them. Yeah, I wonder why. I guess they just backed off from the red, saw Senna, and just called the playoff. Yeah, but Rex is still getting like windows where he can push and like be first on rooms again like he's first on mid room because he's something he has like some kind of push and merc tries to make it so he can get it through quite quick i guess yeah because i feel like now with these items you're chilling a bit more like when you have uh mercs plus bombies yeah you have like decent wave clear you yeah. can trade your move speed ghost for trade i mean he has tp but it's probably good what he's doing yes he has to base and tp now and Zeus just plays for plates. I guess his reward is plates for that. Yeah. Right? He got the free recall. Yeah. He got a kill on Rek'Sai. Um, he used his TP twice, but he's still like pretty far behind. Like, what's the gold? He's still down like eight, 800 goldish. Yeah. He yeah, passed between 500 gold. Like, I feel like this matchup is really rough. Uh, like, I wouldn't play it, I think. She never gets to a point where Rek'Sai can just farm and TF can't punish him. You know how like, some matchups early game you can punish really hard? Yeah, 
Probably not. No. Like as long as like you don't disrupt the TF's game really hard, where he's like completely out of it, mm. I think you will always get side pro as TF. You will always push him in. You will always hit turret. It's just a side lane champion, I guess. TF and Greg side has placed the group. Yeah, I mean TF probably wants to like hold him on side. Mm. Like I think Aatrox gets pushed. Like I'm pretty sure Aatrox gets pushed. Early, mm. you're resting, you're pushing Cassante in. I think Cassante has windows after level 6 mm. versus ult. I think before that you don't really have anything you can do. Yeah. Um, and then also, I think it depends on like the recalls you're getting. But usually if Aatrox goes for uh, the Tabi recall, if he gets there, I think then it's like you just basically you just slowly chunk Cassante down and try to push. and try Aatrox's to Aatrox's base damage is really high, right? Yeah. Like you don't need to build any AD, you can just go Tabis in your Q, like uh, chunk him down slowly. He started E, right? Uh, Sunday started E. Yeah. yeah, like that's what he pretty much do in every matchup. So he like, what does he do? Like hit the creeps, get grasp, E auto with grasp? Yeah, like basically what you want to do is you want to just hit the creeps yeah. uh, to proc your grasp, like to stack it up. Yeah. But then I don't think level one you actually E into Aatrox and just proc the grasp. I think what you want to do normally is you just walk up normally. Yeah, he dodges two Qs, and now he probably just walks up and procs grass and then E's out. Or you, or you can auto reset as well. Yeah, I see. So he uses the... He takes his Qs out, walks up, autos him for grasp, and then E's back. Yeah. That's or better. Like what you can also do, because Cassante E is a auto reset, yeah. is you just auto E auto. Yeah, like, like that's kind of what he did as well, I guess. It was just a bit slower because he was doing like... Yeah, I think he canceled one auto tick. Yeah. So auto, and now he got like E auto, I guess, for the extra auto. Yeah, attack, I think that he could uh, auto E auto. Yes, you can do it a lot faster, I guess, though. So now he just waits for Aatrox Q cooldown and has to dodge it again. Or waits for it to be on cooldown before he can do that again. Yeah, now he's... Oh. So like E auto there, you think that's a bit in sometimes? Oh, he takes W level 2. Hmm. I think you can do it. I think there's like oh, there's a risk that like the Aatrox can trade back on you. I feel like King didn't really do anything. But do you think doing W level 2 there kind of helps stop the Aatrox from being able to punish too hard i think it does for sure because if he like tries to q2 or q3 into you and you just w you will win the trade really hard yeah like i wonder why he took w level two because normally in this matchup atrox gets prior yeah but i feel like him taking w there and just wing him in the wave actually gave him like like a decent hp and minion advantage so he can maybe contest the prior hmm. so you think he leveled up w because he realized he made a mistake Actually, maybe this is a tech in the matchup, I just don't know about. This is the matchup tech? Yeah. I bet it, it looks really good. Yeah, looks Probably really tried good. it. Because if you get if you get prior as Cassante, you're, you're chilling so hard. Yeah. Because Aatrox can't arrest you anymore, you can get better recall. You can get first recall. Yeah, if you had Q there, he probably would have taken a lot of damage though. Yeah, also Q mana cost really high early. I feel like King is kind of inting though. I feel like he's getting hit by too many Qs, he's giving free grass Volters. Need to dodge more. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard to get hit by Cassante Q early, I feel like. Yeah. Like, it's really slow. I feel like, just a small thing maybe for like, low elo top laners. I see this state of lane, and I feel like a lot of low elo tops, as, as Cassante would just dash on Aatrox here. Yeah. Why do you think it's bad? Like, I guess, like, he doesn't have W. I think it wouldn't be the worst thing, but also it's, it's kind of worthless trade. Mm. Like, I think with how top lane is right now, with like, D-Shield, all this, and like, uh, mana from Cassante, like your goal here is n like never to kill the Aatrox. Like what you want to do is just slow push the wave yeah. and uh, base first. So it's like having tempo is more important than having yeah. like winning trades. Like if you get first recall, you will lose less, yes. Or you can save your TP when other laner has to use it. And yeah. then you have like a free ghetto jail free cut. So he just wants to make sure that the wave is just stacking as much as possible. And obviously if Aatrox tries to thin the wave, you'll just fight him. Yeah, because now he has level lead as well. Yeah, it looks like Cassante's situation in this lane is great. It's actually very interesting. Like he is hard chilling. All he has to do is just last hit, keep grasp up, and then I guess just looks like he maybe wants to crash this wave. I think this is like if you watch ACK top lane, if you watch his first Q, he always waits like perfectly for the turret shot. Yeah, and just cues him and just gets out of range. Yeah. They like know how to harass on the tower almost perfectly, right? Like there again. So it's a cannon wave, I think. And um, yeah, he based on the cannon wave. And I guess King in here just takes the base because he knows Cassante's base I'll match. Yeah. Yeah. Some I think uh, again some top players maybe get greedy there. 
and just push another wave or something degenerate, but it's completely easy to do that, I guess. And then what would happen? So basically, Aatrox would be pushing, the wave would be thinned, but then Cassante's item advantage, and he would just stop him from crashing. Yeah, right? he would just freeze the wave, and then, like, probably Aatrox just has to base on the wave pushing into Cassante, and he would just lose his. just bleed so many fucking creeps. It's like, you can probably do it, um, if you get something from the few more minutes you get. Like, let's say he has 1k gold and he really mm. wants Tabis, it's probably fine. But he already has Tabis, like what does Overstain give him? Like a pink world, but who the fuck buys pink worlds, you know? I think Keen, like, so the wave crashes evenly, and then Keen instantly starts to push it a bit. I think he wants to stack again, straight away. Um, like, it's it's always, like, not always, but it's like in this matchup, I think the person who gets the push is always chilling. Yeah. But I. So, would you say that Keen is like playing it well to get the push, or King is giving too much space? I think King is giving way too much space. I never. S Saw Cassandra get prior on the early waves. Really? Yeah. It's always like Aatrox favorite. Like from uh, every time I played it, yeah. So uh, it's a bit of a waste of a counter pick, I guess. If he's just I mean, if stacked on. I mean, he's like down in CS, and I feel like that shouldn't happen. Yeah. Seems a bit weird. But I guess it's correct by Keen to try and get the prior. You know, like yeah. see if it works. Yeah. If King gives it to him, he'll take it. Like Cassandra's those champs, if you get like uh, prior, I think you can always push just because you have like insane wave clear. Mm. So again, I think he's just gonna thin the wave and just keep him on the tower. Yeah, seems like it. I guess King is kind of creeping a bit. I mean, he's. <laughs> he's so, some top laners do this. They like hold it. Yeah. And holding it just makes it so they're safe, I guess. I mean, also, I think here the, the purpose of holding it as well so he doesn't miss the minions. Mm. Because now he can see us some kind of better. But I, I feel like. It, I don't know, it seems like weird that he's standing like so, so far back. Like he uses his W to CS. Like here, why, like, why is he standing so far back? I don't understand. He's really scared. And now he uses W, so that's like 20 seconds cooldown. Yeah, and, he, and the W is really important for trades. And the W's for a minion when it's just Cassandra Q is like, what, 50 damage? Yeah. That's fine, I think. Like he has D shield, second win, two pots, he's full HP. Like he's not even autoing the wave. And he has Q up now. Well, I guess the wave's stacking a little bit. Right? Good movement. So you think every time Q's up, he should just be trading on him? Yeah, and he should just like in general auto the wave more. Like yeah. he like he has more AD than like Cassandra as well. You can like it's fine to look for auto trades. Yeah, actually he just doesn't hit the wave. Yeah, he's actually not hitting the wave at all. He just never hits the wave. Like he just doesn't. He just Q's and then last hits and lets everything else push into him. But here again, I guess he's just gonna hold it. And then oh, he's gonna push maybe a bit. So yeah, I guess the, the, the idea of this matchup then on paper is Aatrox gets the push most time and can like chunk him on the tower a little bit. Yeah, like how I see this matchup is like you always want him like to slowly poke the Cassandra down. Mm. He's actually just using, I don't think he's W'd him once, he's just W'd yeah. him fun. Like, it used, like he's using his spells for fun, I don't really get what he's doing. He's also down in CS. I mean I guess Cassante to be fair better base timing but that doesn't excuse the first yeah it's like that he's getting like better base in the first place also he went steel caps first and like on that patch it was gold drinker rush yeah and he went like iron spike whip do you think that if he went uh, like core fields it would be still the same like aatrox should still win because mm, no. i guess it's eclipse right isn't it um, brutalizer i guess similar to iron yeah spike brutalizer whip. i mean i guess some people go eclipse or you can go the thunder as well mm. like i feel like it's not an item issue yeah it's not an item issue i feel like it's a hands issue <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, at least Cassandra's not taking plates, but yeah. He's he, he loves to hold the wave here. Yeah. It's like his favorite thing to do. I mean, I guess we could maybe think of jungle pathing as a reason, but I'm pretty sure Sejuani cleared the bot, which I guess is fine, but now he can start to push back a bit because Sejuani is clearing her top camp. Like, how how does he not... Like, how can Keen push this wave in? Like this one, yeah, I agree, because it's crashed. Like, how is this possible? Now he should be able to stack, right? Yeah, yeah this, this is like the freest stack, like two waves. Then you can just recall, get a better base. You're faster to lane. Maybe it's because Keen, like just here, I think Keen wards, right? And then Aatrox QE, Q2, and now Keen waits out Q3, right? He knows his Q's gonna expire now. And now he has like four or five seconds to push. So now he just starts pushing, I think. <laughs> like, like Aatrox, <laughs> you think Aatrox should just walk up and start auto? Yeah, he's, like he should just auto the wave. Like so he's he's Q's gone for five now. You think he should just walk up and I think he can just all hit the wave here. And hit the wave, like yeah. he has he has a pot as well. Like if Cassandra Q's autos him, like who cares? But I feel like he's like walking next to the wall. I don't know what he's doing. 
Yeah, and then on, on his next Q rotation on the crash, he fucked it up, right? His Q's up now. Miss. W miss, Q2 miss, and now Cassandra can just crash it, right? But I feel like even here you can just fight him. Like, if you look at Cassandra mana... Yeah, I mean, he has passive as well, he can just walk up and auto him now. Like, he, I feel like he can just legit just trade autos with him until his Q's back up, mm. and then he will win as well. So he's playing like a bit of a pussy. Like a mega pussy. Yeah, he's actually playing like a mega pussy. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess we're just sitting here hoping that he pushes. Maybe there's a, re a point where he pushes and we're like, ah. That's why, but I guess they're just. It should have been like 15 waves ago. Like, I wonder if Cassandra would just crash this wave again now. So, here, I think this is where like the lane probably fully turns. Because, uh, you know, that wave you said, surely something to crash it? Yeah, he, I think he's gonna crash it. Or, like, here's, here's the supposed bounce, right? Where Aatrox can now start zoning him away. But, I mean, he's just missing Qs. I guess he had Q2. But I think Keen just like walks up. Hits the wave in his face and kind of crashes it. And, but I think an all-in happens here. Yeah, I think it was improved well. So he queued. It probably does EW. Yeah. I think that was int by Aatrox. What he's doing? Mm, like how Cassandra works when like the enemy laner is close to your minions. Yeah. You can always EW. Mm. And get like get like a full combo on them, and then if you have third Q as well, and they're like somewhere near to a wall, you can like always insect always them. Always go for the all-in. So it's pretty clean by Keen. I, I think it's. Pretty basic combo. So yeah, E, W, Q, 3, R. Just pretty simple. Yeah. Fair enough. So, we would say like Keen's played the lane well and King is kind of fucking into it. Yeah. No, he overstays as well. Yeah. Cassante. So what's the consequence of that? Keen freezes, Aatrox like leaves, Cassandra gets TP advantage. Like what you could also try to do is cancel the Aatrox recall if you walk behind yeah. him. Yeah. So, every time it's a cannon wave, and you think enemy tops basing, you should just base two. Most cases. Uh, I mean, it, wait, every time it's a can wave, enemy top. Yeah, probably. Yeah, like here, for example, like he gets all in, he catches the wave, and he thinks Cassante is basing and he's recalling because it's a cannon wave, right? Yeah, but also, what's Atrox DP? Because I think Cas seconds. Cassante is cosmic, right? Yeah, Cassante. Nah, he should he should base. Especially, he, does he see him base? He just sees him now. Yeah, now he should just base. Because Cassandra is 8 seconds on him, it doesn't matter. So here he should just base, right? Yeah. But he cancels it. Maybe he needs... No, he's nah, not. he's just trolling, I think. Yeah, so he trolls the cannon wave. Doesn't push it in time because it's not late enough. Freezes. Gets his item. TP's back. Loses TP. And now he has TP advantage. And now not only is the lane hard, or like even, I guess. But also map is fucked, I guess. Because if they fight this next Drake, Cassandra can TP. It seems really strange. But overall, like lane phase, Keen's... Murdered him basically. Yeah. Three, he's only 300 up. Yeah, but I think he's up like show XP. Yeah, he's up for good XP. 200 gold, a tiny bit of XP. Meh. But it's like. It's like it's not about how much you're up. It's like it's the fact that you're not behind as Cassandra. Because, because I feel like when you're playing Cassandra, like the laning phase is actually the hard part. Yeah. Like you should get punished in lane, I feel like in most matchups. And I feel like just if you're Xante and you're even gold with the enemy laner, you're probably more useful in team fight. Like probably way more useful. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. The fact that you're winning lane is already like a massive win. Aatrox versus Jace. What do we think? That's a tough matchup for Aatrox. I think it should be really hard for Aatrox early. Like Jace, you just push. Yeah. You win like trades. Yeah. Y you should just hit him on the turret, get CS lead, chunk him down. Yeah and try that he doesn't get Tabi recall. I think probably that's the first goal you have. So if Aatrox gets Tabi recall, it's already a horror? I mean, it's not a horror, but it's not optimal. I think you should probably still win. Yeah. But this this matchup in isolation, just like Jay's favorite, I guess. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, he already fucked up. He's walking melee range to give Aatrox a passive auto. I don't know why. I think also he doesn't kill minion. Yeah, um, I guess giving the Aatrox auto was not good. And also, again, I don't know why he doesn't play from the bush. Maybe... This is the Zeus didn't play from the bush and now Doran isn't playing from the yeah, bush. Yeah, but I, I don't know why. It just feels like free vision toggling though. Because like you can just keep dropping mini Nagra on the autos. Yeah, you can just like perma hit him. But now you have to like care a bit. So the wave stacking decently, you think? I think he... Yeah, it's fine. It's like overstacked a bit? Nah, it's fine, yeah. It doesn't crash. I think he's got... Is he scared of a gank? But it's, it feels weird that he's giving him on the two last minions that he's letting them CS them for free. Like I feel like here, 
Like this minion? Yeah, this. The, the Aatrox, you mean? No, like that the Jace doesn't auto the Aatrox. Like, I, I don't know why he's standing so far back, I think. So the first one he gets, then the second one, then when he goes forward, he goes to the trade. Mm. Yeah, because he kind of plays like he's scared to get ganked by Sedge, but also he's not warding. Mm. So he's playing a little bit further back than normal, but also he's not using his wards, so... I guess the wave's massive though, right? Actually, did he just get passive auto the again? I think he did. Did he get a passive auto? Yeah, he did. Quite nice, though. No? Interesting. I think actually Keen is walking up really well when his auto is just about to come up. So, so yeah. yeah, so they don't realize he has passive and then he just hits them. So his lane phase is actually pretty decent. Actually, maybe Keen is just a god. So I guess now the wave's kind of bouncing. This is similar to like a lot of the games where three waves crash, waves bouncing. Yep. Range top wants to probably keep the push. Melee top wants it to let it bounce a little bit. So I guess Doran probably pushes back here. I mean, it, it also like, like probably pure 1v1, he wants to contest the push again. Yeah. Um, but it also with jungle, like, I don't know if they know Sedge pathing or if they know Zin pathing. Mm. But but also here, if you let it bounce and Zin stays top side, yeah, uh, yeah like the, the Atrix is in trouble as well. Like also something people don't do a lot in top is like movement. I feel like movement can change your lane though, right? You talked about like his movement to walk up in passive auto, but also like the bait spells out. Because sometimes you can walk up as if you're faking things in top, right? Yeah. And then you move back. And you can move back as if you're faking something's not here. And it is. You're not like a gank or something. Oh, yeah, like fake pressuring. Yeah. So, like, I feel like I saw his Q here, Doran. Like, Keen is, is actually... He walks a bit up in a sec. Like, here. He's, like, kind of making... I don't know. Jace wants to Q him there. He's, like, yeah. kind of being really cocky with his movement. Like, here as well. I'm mean, just putting, like, pressure on him. Yeah. He's like not playing safe at all. He, I guess it's because he gets level four first and the wave's like really good for him. So he can just walk past it and... Yeah, he's not letting him hit the wave so he can get like a bigger stack. Yeah, like even there, like it's just small, like random things, I guess. I don't know if it's Doran griefing, but like Keen's going for QE maybe and like, I don't know, just baits it. I mean, I think here Keen just sees that he has a level advantage for a bit. Yeah. I think like he needs, I think Doran needs to kill two range yeah. and he's abusing it really well. Like he's actually not letting him Lost it, and he's also dodging all the kills. He's dodging everything. I guess W from Jace hurts a bit, and he's queued on cooldown. Face rush from Doran, not bad there. Jungle's top. No, oh, this kind of cringe. Ah, oh, this is really good for Keen though. Yeah, good for Keen. Yeah. Why is it good for Keen? Because Jace mana. Like, like just this trait. Like it might look like a bad trait, but you need to just realize that he has second wind D shield, a pot. Jace has D blade. Like even here, like it's good, he spots the jungler, he knows that he like full clear the top, they know he's pathing. Yeah. He wastes a bit of time. But Sejuan is probably running out towards his lane, right? Because he's bouncing. Yeah. So he needs cover. So Keen's probably calling for jungle. I mean, it's like, I think usually here, I feel like no jungler stays here. No jungler stays. Trying yeah. To manage on the push it's out. like, yeah, I think like, yeah, Sej is just going... Mm. Yeah, Grump. I feel like most of the junglers won't try to gank you here because they want to like do their first camp again, they respawn. Yeah. But this this is a really good state now. Because he can just, he has a free slow push. Yeah. He will probably get Tavis on first base. He's not he's not dropping any CS. Like, it, this is actually perfect for him. So he's played lane like almost 10 out of 10 so far, I guess. I mean, he's playing really well actually, yeah. Yeah, Keem's lane phase looks insane. Oh my god. He's like making, I don't know if Doran's briefing, but that trade was disgusting though. Like QE, Q2, runs by the minions, Q doesn't hit. I just feel like Jace is fucked now. I guess he didn't have W, but now he's jungler's top for a dive. Looks a bit tricky, I guess, if Sedge only tanks. Oh, pretty nice flash. No. Nope. Pretty nice flash. Gets the wave, bases. Otherwise, he gets redo. Keen can maybe save TP here if you just push this in. Yeah, he can. I mean, actually, will he save TP? No, no. I, I think you know a safe TP actually. Yeah, I would think like cannon wave, but I guess what could happen is if he doesn't TP here, Jace TPs, it stacks on him. Yeah. And it really sucks because maybe enemy jungler can be top and or I don't know, he just loses lane control. Yeah, I feel like, like if he, he saw Jace overstaying, yeah. so he probably thinks as well he just TPs and he can already contest the wave a bit, and then he will have a slow push again. Yeah. 
on which he can junk because now if you look at items. Oh my god. Yeah, Jace has to get through a lot of his health. Yeah, and now Jace has no face rush. So now he will probably like now if he gets hits any Q on him, he will get like full combo with W. Mm, but that movement was so crazy weird, I don't know. Like that Jace QE. I don't know if I'm glazing, but this guy is like like what? Yeah. I mean <laughs> he does a really good movement. But like Keen here, for example, is blocking the cannon, I guess. That's why he just fucking eats a Jace yeah. QE. I think also wait, does Jace have face rush now? Yeah, he has face. No, he doesn't. Yeah, like every time Jace doesn't have face rush, you you do Q1 with E, and then you just WQ, and you will like get a good trade. Yeah, because you'll always get pulled back. I guess. You do, like, yeah. Q1 W, and then Q2 at an angle. Yeah, exactly. And then if he doesn't face rush, he can't run out. So there is a game state now where Aatrox has pushed into Jace, which is. Which sucks. Which fucking sucks, right? Yeah, and he even was. Like, not only do they have no push, but they also are spotted, which. Oh. And he stole the crooks. Oh, oh my god. So, like, jungle's fucked. Tops can maybe stack now, but, like, Keen is basically just. He's had no jungle help. He got ganked once. Shit, guys. Actually, he did. He did got, like, a kind of dive. You know? Yeah, but this guy's actually so good. Yeah, I guess he's right. in mega game state now for his team. So, Aatrox uses his time to take his crux, which is great. But Jace fast pushes. Keen here, I guess it's really awkward. Because he could freeze and base on it, but Jace could then stay and push it in. Yeah. He could push and then base, but then Jace would be first to the lane. And he could push and stay, but that means he's down on item. Like, uh, that's like a really big mind game. Because yeah. I feel like here, if you if you freeze and then base, yeah. like you said, and then Jace just sits in bush and pushes away with you, you lose so much. Yeah, because what could happen is he could like freeze this here, Jace cancels yeah. his recall, hides in bush, yeah. Keen bases, wave pushes, he loses a shit ton. But also, I think what I noticed watching these players, because I feel like what I did before when I was like in situations like this where mm. I was like a bit fucked, I would try to like hard push. But what I see, even if they're like a recall down, they still try to slow push like two waves. So wait, so, sorry, so you, you'd hard push this wave? Yeah, like I would, before I would try to hard push this wave. And but then when I, yeah, like when you watch like LCK, LPL, these top laners, they don't try to hard push. Yeah. When the enemy, even they when he gets base. Yeah. Like unless they know they can get, like they can't crash the wave. Yeah. Like at all, they will always stack. And they will not really hard push one wave ever. Yeah, they, they love stacking waves. So now say you want to stay and then maybe they pre planned the dive, and that's why Aatrox stayed too. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. You said you want to just tank to do this? Whoa, they're scared to the party old. Yeah, it's like, like if, I think if Aatrox has damage item, because they know Jace has no flash, they yeah. can probably one shot him in CC, but not with Tavis. Yeah. Oh, they're going again. Yeah. But I feel like if you're playing Jace into Aatrox again, like last pick, and you don't play around it, like Jace is just gonna sit there and question mark things. Yeah. Like his team. Like, what is this Sinzao doing? He came top once. Like, to be fair, the way I see it is you have counter pick and then you get push. And then they will try to gank you while you're racing. Like, he was just getting pushed on the turret and then they also tried to dive him. Yeah. So he got counter picked, keen, but Genji just put I mean, everything top to make sure Aatrox can... Like, I think he just played better 1v1. Yeah. I think just the early trades. He's just better. I've, from what I can tell, I think it's just I better. I mean, I feel yeah. like we've watched two replays of Keen and both times he's fucking smurfing. Uh, he actually is, yeah. Doran's not really getting any value out of this Jace. Does Jace ever get stronger? Uh, I mean, on Eclipse. I think on Eclipse you should stomp. Yeah. But actually, I'm, uh, I'm questioning everything I know watching this. <laughs> Why? Like, I, I never saw a, like Aatrox Jace matchup go like this. So you never saw Aatrox Sante go like that, and now you never saw Aatrox Yeah, Jace. Like, I don't know, maybe Keen is just actually the GOAT. Or maybe Doran and King are just frauds, so I'm not sure. Just frauds. Yeah, they're cooking mega hard. Yeah, he always matches bases as well. He never gets greedy to push out cannon waves. But it looks like their wave control is really crisp. Like, they are just perma stacking, perma no win in the wave, keeping them on the tower. Like, uh, yeah, I don't feel like there's ever a part here where I've watched Keen think like I fucked this wave. Yeah, like he actually didn't do it. I feel like he didn't do like a mistake this game. Like he, he got like a good trade on the bounce and he got the like advantage there. Yeah. And I feel like for the rest of the game he, he didn't drop it one time. Mm. Like he just he just kept kept himself in a good spot always. And yeah. now he's like even in CS in a counter matchup, even got a plate. Up in XP as well, like quite a decent amount. I'm I'm really sure Keen knows he has Eclipse on base, the Jace. Yeah. So maybe he's thinking if Jace T 
PPs and he is not on the wave that he will fast push the wave because Jace thinks he's based. Yeah. But it's like worse to fast push it for Jace if uh, Keen stays. Yeah, because you can Be just catch him. Yeah, free, because now he can. Stack. He doesn't stack anything. Yeah. And here he's like, and now he sees him stay. And now the run's like shit. Yeah, because now it is like fine. Even though he's like, like just components to eclipse, he can like catch this wave easy. So it's kind of like. Doran thought Keen based, I'll fast push this wave and deny my wave by TPing. Ah oh, shit, Keen stayed. Yeah. No, I don't want to die anyway. Now I should have stacked. Yeah, he should have, like, he should have stacked. Because it gives him more time to poke him on the tower. I mean, this is usually the mind game when, when you're slow pushing and you think the enemy based. Yeah. Uh, then you should hard push and then you can just make the mind game where you don't show. Yeah. So he hard pushes and then you just have an easier time collecting on a turret because yeah, it's yeah. like one wave, la one wave less. Yeah. But I guess Keen's gonna have to TP then basically, right? This, yeah. This sucks. Like unless they make some like rotation on the map where someone else takes over top, he probably will base TP at some point. Because I guess he probably wants out of top now because if you look at the map state, like he's kind of on the tower. He knows all of them are top side. Yeah. And uh, he's kind of like the weak side now and there's no one bot. So I guess like he probably just says, I'll take over. We play mid top and you just catch. Yeah. Like if you watch actually Keen re replays because my like my coach shows me some of them mm. or in general Gen G, mm. he's actually really good at respecting like enemy turns. Yeah. And also he's when his team is not on the map, he plays really safe. Yeah. Like when he thinks he can push a wave and they might contest on him, but let's 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 say his team is on top and mid wave at the same time and pushing, he will probably try to push it. But if he's like uh, contesting a dangerous wave, but no one from his team is on the map, then he will never contest it. So he respects a lot. Yeah. Keen the goat, is there anything else, I guess? No, just top lane now, I guess he's just catching waves, pushing sides, and then not, sh and then not showing, and then... Yeah. 